Welcome back to The Beast Inside. Last episode, we thoroughly explored the spy's cabin here and found three out of the four pieces that we need to solve the computer puzzle, but the last one unfortunately was bugged and just the item that I needed just didn't appear. So, restarted. Now I actually have the slide for the projector, and I already have all the other three pieces of the password, of course. Let's see what's on the slide. Ah! Oh, that's clever. I thought that it would display uh, a number, and then I would have to change the number by adding two to it. But actually, it just completes the number. So, B4. Now... I'm not sure what order I should do the password in. We have A, B, C, and D. I could do it just in, um, just in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D. Or I could do it in the order in which they were found, because it seems like the luminescent paint starts here. This is where the button to turn it on and off is. Seems like it starts here, and then the first one is the slide. And then, I guess, there's no footprints going into this room, but I guess the next one would be what was on the paper here, C1? Maybe? It's a little ambiguous if I go by that means. And then it's definitely after that, A3, and then D2. Let's just try alphabetical first, and then if that doesn't work, I'll try the order in which they're found. First one is A3. Basement door. Where can I get the password? The door is locked. Enter the password. Uh, A3 is V... Um... B4... B4 is L... C1 is I... And D2... D2 is G. And Finally! Ah! Now I can go in the basement and deal with that fucker. Okay, so it was just alphabetical. Definitely not fresh blood. I'll check what's in there in a minute. Let's explore this place first. That projector is incredibly loud. I can still hear it. I don't think there is anything to explore here, actually. No. Slaughtered. Like an animal. Fuck me. I don't get it. Who could have done this? And why? Looks like they were killed with his pipe. Slaughtered like an animal? Is this how you normally slaughter animals? By beating them to death with a pipe? Oh, I thought this was one of the agents, and I mean, maybe it is one of the agents, but I see a, a badge on them, so this must be the sheriff. Luckily, he didn't destroy them. Another journal entry. I He's alive? I made it to the mine, but something followed me. Did you not notice them getting up? My dude? I finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. I'm sure it wasn't human. I lost it on the way. At least I think I did. I need to forget about it. Can't waste time on delusions. 
That's what they told me, after all. Father, Detective, the mine. Hopefully I can find something here. I can't wait to explore this creepy mine. Whoa. Things are... swimmy. I see things marked with Roman numerals. Is that related to the levels? Because I also see a level list on the bottom right. Levels minus one, minus two, minus three. But the Roman numerals go all the way from one to five. Missing man's note. He lied to me. That old bastard lied through his teeth. He sold me that map, saying it would lead me to gold that was supposed to be in this mine. When I asked him why he doesn't go down here and take it himself, he said he was too old. He couldn't see as well as he used to, and he couldn't manage himself. And what did I do? Rather than deride the old fool, I paid him, went down to the very bottom of the mine, and yes, I did find gold. Only, it was fool's gold, plain pyrite that even a child could tell from real gold. It was my greed that got me here, and now I can't find my way back. How many days have I been here? Damn, maybe even weeks. Thank God there's a good bit of rats, or else I would have already starved to death. I drink dirty groundwater, and when that runs out, there's only my own urine. I found the notes of a certain Gilman describing the way out. If I didn't get so scared, I'd be safe by now. I was going the right way, but when I heard that unearthly screaming, I just ran until I got weary. This is it. I can't go back now. If I die here, then remember, whoever you are, follow the detective's notes. Lights are the key. The green lights I saw in some of the tunnels. There's no hope for me anymore. I'm so tired. My father's mind has become a graveyard for so many. It's terrible. If I don't want to end up like them, I must remember hints from Gilman's notes and follow the green lights. Otherwise, I'll never get out of here. Okay, that seems to be a password of sorts, referring to the map. Detective's second note. Roman numerals, what could it mean? Three miners lost their lives in the explosion, but also, what seems like a curious coincidence, Hyatt's partner, George Whitehead, who owned half of the shares in both the mine and the inn. One of the inn's guests, who could be a first-hand witness, went missing a few days after the accident. He wasn't the only one in the area who vanished under undisclosed circumstances. This is all very suspicious, and the investigating officers don't seem too eager to solve that mystery. I'll be glad to help them, but obviously not for free. Wait, why does this say Detective Second Note? Because on the very bottom right of the paper, it says one out of three. Anyway. Yeah, so three miners. Three miners died and George Whitehead, supposedly. The accident claimed the lives of four people. Why would my father kill them if they were his friends? And on top of that, the explosion led him to financial ruin. That doesn't make any sense. My father was no fool. He wouldn't hurt his own friends. Was 
the creepy noise. Nothing creepy happened. <laughs> we are there. Well, I want to explore everywhere, but perhaps I shouldn't. Follow the notes, right? But also said follow the lights. The green lights, anyway. These are lights, but they're not green. Alright, let's look at the note. I guess I'll just follow those. Four. That's that way. Yeah, this is definitely a go the wrong way and you die sort of thing. Oh, can I light these? Dang. Fake candles. Mm. Next is one. One. Wait. One? Like, I go back to where I just came from? Alright. Oops. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. And then three, which is, I mean, there's no direct route there. Just over this way, hang a right. It's not the first one, first one's number two, right next to it's number three. I feel very unsure that I'm doing this right. This feels very strange. Pyrite. Uh, I don't see any numbers here, but I guess it's this one. I guess. Fragment of Maria's letter. Dear Sir, I saw your ad about looking for the missing John Norton. I may be a simple peasant, but I swear to God Almighty I know who's responsible for his vanishing and for the crime in the mine where my husband died. I went to the sheriff and told him all about it, but he only scoffed at me and said I was seeing things from all that grieving. I'll tell you everything, but only face to face and in my house because that's the only place I can feel safe. When you learn the hide secret, nothing will ever be the same. They were hiding it well, but I saw it. I saw what crept out at night from... Okay, I'm just going to ignore the Roman numeral thing at this point, I guess. Actually, wait, maybe not. Damn, a lot of supplies. Makes me feel like I'm going to need them. <laughs> I have a lot of supplies built up, though. how that looks.
Um, I think there might be something else back here. Like, I see something through those metal sheets right there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think that's... Is that where I just was? Like, I think that is where I just was, actually. Yeah, that's just back here. Okay. No, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, here's number two. So, the next one. Number three. Maybe this doesn't mean anything yet. Maybe I need more parts, more clues. I'm just going to explore around randomly. I'm back almost at the beginning. So wait, I went through number three and it took me back around to number four? Is that what this is telling me? Like number three goes to number four? Number no. I guess I should go down all the others and just see how they link up. I feel like it's more like a maze. It's more like find the way to the next floor. This is the beginning. Yeah, let's go number two. So, number two just took us to number... Oh, that's number six, not number four. Number two takes us to number six. Should I, should I be writing this down? I suppose so. Okay. Two to six. Can I go backwards? Like, what if I go back the way I came? Fuck, this place is confusing. Here, 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 here. Oh yeah, wow. So number one leads to number four. One, two, four. Let's just map them all, I suppose. Number five. Number five leads to number three. Okay, so I have four mappings. Two to six, one to four, five to three, and three to five. Actually, three to five is pointless because I discovered that they, uh, the mappings stay consistent regardless of which direction, meaning uh, like two leads to six. That means six will also lead to two. So, now that I know where each one leads... What does it mean to follow this? Does it mean I need to come out 
in this order? Because going through in this order didn't seem to do anything. Maybe I need to come out in that order. So like take whichever one will lead to six, for example, first. So two is going to lead to six. So let's do that first. Two led to six. Next one was one. Yep, four came out at one. And finally, to come out at three, we need to go through five. Did that do anything? That didn't seem to do anything. Green light. The one that the dead man had written about. If he was right, I'm on the right track. I'm not sure what happened there. All I did was just go through these, uh, the first one as written. I just went through number six. Did I not try that before? Maybe I mixed up like four and six because it looks pretty much the same except the, the line is on the other side of the V. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it, yeah, it's dead simple. No need to map out where they go, really. Just go to number one next. be heard or seen by the ghost. You'll move quieter when crouching. If the spirit sees you, run and hide. Okay, so it's not instant death if it sees me. I should look at the map for some hints. Maybe it will tell me where Gilman left the other notes. Yes, it does. Uh... X... If X is on my right, then I'm staring... I'm staring this direction, which means it's where the ghost went. is very sensitive. I wanted to see how how cheeky I could be. Could have just run past it. Nope. Locks you into an animation. for sure they would walk back where they came from. <laughs> Can I do a silent takedown if I get behind him? <laughs> Let's try hiding out here. Is it about to 
kill me? Walter thought my father killed his partner in order to get his shares. But the explosion was accidental. After all, the mine brought in more income than the inn, which would often remain empty. However, the detective didn't have hard evidence. Only circumstantial. Okay, I seem to be safe here. I've been able to establish that there was a conflict between Old Hyde and Whitehead, escalating in the months prior to the accident. Both had a lot on their conscience. Hyde was notorious for his heavy hand. Once he threw out one of the dissatisfied guests from the inn. Not to mention how he repeatedly abused his son Nicholas, often in front of other people. Whitehead, on the other hand, was quick-tempered and easily antagonized others. There's evidence that he threatened miners, whom he thought of as lazy. Also, Whitehead- Jesus Christ. <laughs> Zombie noises. Also, Whitehead's former friend claims that, together with the judge, he wanted to take over both the inn and the mine, even using his partner's son, young Nicholas, to that end. There are, there are more Roman, Roman numerals. I bet it has something to do with the markings in the mine. Yes, probably does. Pretty likely. I guess. Maybe. Sure. So, nine is the first one. Which is... Mm. If I continue past where the ghost walks and then take a right, that should do it. That probably doesn't make any sense to you, but it makes sense to me. Okay. I think I'm kind of lost now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, I'm almost there. That did it. Feel like I should take cover before I go into notes. Seven is the next one. Seven is there. Which means the direct uh, this way. Yeah, this way. Last one, eight. That is right there. I want to give the ghost a wide berth, so that means going, going this way.
Even death fails to grant an escape for some. It's all the way on the other side. 